My name is Todd Stong, and I am a museum education intern here at Brandywine. When I'm not working for the museum, I can often be found pursuing printmaking projects in a number of Philadelphia print shops. My affinity for print led me to Fritz Eichenberg's wood engraving, The Temptation of St. Anthony, made in 1965 in an edition of 100 prints, one of which was purchased by the museum in 2006. Fritz Eichenberg's version of the story is by no means the first attempt by an artist at rendering this famous scene of Christian mysticism. It's a tale returned to again and again throughout art history, with one particularly famous precedent in printmaking, Martin Schongauer's metal engraving St. Anthony Tormented by Demons, made 500 years earlier in the late 15th century. As the story goes, St. Anthony, a monk, wanders through the eastern desert of Egypt and encounters various magical creatures, signs, and temptations. A hideous centaur, a penitent satyr, a plate full of silver, and finally, a cave of angry, violent demons. It's this final episode that Schongauer took for inspiration. Schongauer was one of the early masters of engraving, and his Temptation of St. Anthony is among the earliest of prints on the subject. In his rendition, St. Anthony is taken into flight by a flock of otherworldly monsters. To the bottom right, a small section of rock alludes to the cave where the initial encounter takes place. But now all the drama inhabits the empty open sky, totally a space of imaginative fancy where Schongauer could find permission to break from the strictures of reality. This print was famous amongst European artists and, as legend has it, was even copied by a young Michelangelo in perhaps his first known painting. As an accomplished printmaker himself, Fritz Eichenberg was certainly aware of Schongauer's print when he took up the same skybound subject. His white wood engraving lines, though not as delicate as Schongauer's black metal engraved ones, provide a far more graphic and bold contrast between black and white. A different kind of stylization pumps Eichenberg's print with movement from background to foreground. And rather than the completely fantastical monsters of Schongauer rooted to earth only by the top of a rock formation, Eichenberg links his phantasma to the tangible world with real-life demons. A bag of money with bat wings spits coins toward the penitent saint. A cooked goose squawks with fork and knife already tucking into its succulent flesh. Scantily clad women with tails or bunny ears attempt to seduce or whisper sweet nothings. A shadowy pope feigns to crown Anthony with new glory, while a football player, a paparazzo, and a gun-toting cowboy situate us clearly in contemporary American celebrity culture. Though Schongauer's St. Anthony floats impassively, Eichenberg's covers his ears and casts his eyes toward a Bible, perhaps a reflection of Eichenberg's judgments on the extreme temptations of modern life, greater than any nightmare demon of the imagination. One of the things I love about this piece is how Eichenberg's use of wood engraving works with his updated imagery to highlight an inversion of Schongauer's metal engraving. While Schongauer made his black-lined evils out of pure imagination, a place where the mind might accidentally wander, straying from a grounded sense of reality, Eichenberg flipped the script, carving with white lines the evils of the physical world. As someone who had fled Nazi Germany and lived through the excesses and tribulations of 20th century Cold War America, he surely understood the vices of the here and now. 